So, I am finally doing something that I've needed to do for probably like two months now. I'm cleaning this filthy ass car out. It's dusty everywhere. I've got concrete all over the seat. I've got rebar down there. Um, I threw the back seat floor mat on top because I was throwing all that concrete down there, but it's just dirt and crud everywhere. So, finally gonna take care of all this crap. Have a new car again. All right, everything except the bottom of the cup holders. Pretty clean now, seat came out good. I gotta get like a little scrubber and get like in the cloth, but everything is so much better. Screen is clean, back seat's good. Not perfect, just did a quick 20 minute job, but so much better than what it was. And I really want to like wash it, wash it, but it's uh, supposed to rain in the next couple days. So I'm just gonna do a little rinse. Ooh, it's warm out there. Um, okay, we've been sitting, like this truck has had like four different times that it could have slowly pulled out and went, and they're still not going. But uh, yeah, so quarters at the car wash don't last anywhere fucking near as long as they used to. Dude, I used to be able to go with five bucks and like, fully wash my car top to bottom scrub it scrub the wheels you know go to the the dryer like i put five bucks in there and i like rushed through a quick wash and i still barely had enough like damn but uh i think honest to god i think this is the first time i've washed my car like on my whole uh shutdown thing at work yeah but damn I gotta get my mount in here. This thing, I hate this thing. It's so bulky. I've got a zip tie on it, and like every bump I hit, it just keeps like turning. What the, hopefully that's not bad. Um, I'm about to cut this video anyways, but I gotta stop and get gas. And uh, stop and get gas for the lawnmower um do some major yard work dude it's before the rain we got i was like a week behind on cutting now we got like downpours all day yesterday the grass is like 10 feet tall so that's gonna suck because when it gets that tall i bag it i'd never cut it without a bag unless it's like super short and i'm just trimming it but I hate when people cut tall grass and they don't bag it and then you just got all that dead grass sitting everywhere and blows out into the road like an ass. You don't clean it up. So I bag it and it'll take a little bit more work because I'm gonna have to stop more often, but oh well. Um, got it is like the perfect day outside. It's a little bit warm for me, but other than that, it is like amazing outside. Coco. Hi. I'm not a person that like complains. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> you guys see my rants, but I feel like everything I rant about is like a legitimate kind of thing. You know, like I don't feel like most of it's that crazy. I don't know, but like, I'm not one to complain about, like, neighbors or anything. You know, if you got some music playing or, you know, you're having a party or whatever, more power to you. Just, you know, I hope you respect 
everything else, you know what I'm saying? But like, the people that moved in behind us, they have a four-wheeler. Like a full, I mean, you guys see our yard. Like, we have, for our area, it's a decent yard, but if you're comparing it, like, it's a pretty small yard, unless you live in, like, New York or something like that where you don't have a yard. It's not that big. So there's no need for, like, a riding... Like, if I had a riding lawnmower or something, it would take more work because I would have to get off and use a regular lawnmower so often to get around everything. But they've got a full-size four-wheeler. And I don't know... They, like, use it for yard work and stuff like that, like, with a little, like, dump bucket on the back or something, like when they use this thing he gets on it he starts it and the entire time like you know they got like the thumb throttles or whatever all you hear is just boom 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 and then shuts it off and then about five minutes later you'll hear it again like he'll go from one side of the yard to the other or you know front to back just boom 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 and I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? That is ungodly annoying because the, like the bass from the exhaust just resonates in the damn house. Here it is. He just started it. I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera. See, it's idling right now. And here he goes. Vroom, 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 vroom. And then back off that quick. Like, what? And that wasn't even that bad. Like, he didn't rev it that much, but like, the normal times, you it starts up. And then about two seconds after it started, just brum, 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 as he's driving from like one side to the next, like, mm, it makes me want to pull my hair out that I don't have. I'm like, dude, that is so effing annoying. And it doesn't matter, you know, just the, the tone of the exhaust. Like if I got the TV on or headphones or anything, like you just, it just drones through the house. So you hear it no matter what, but I'm like, damn, that is annoying. I knew this is how uh last few days of my days my time off work was gonna go non-stop so friday work on that boat all day today's saturday got up and once shelby left i've been doing yard work now i gotta work on that car i mean i don't have to but it's a lot of money i'm sitting on you know i want to get rid of that thing so plus it's bugging me i want to get it taken care of it also sucks because my schedule has completely changed. Like, my normal weekends, you know, like when I'm not working, if I was lucky enough to get a weekend off, um, sleeping in would be 7 o'clock, maybe 7.30. And then by like 10 o'clock, I'm KO'd. Like, I'm out. I can't fight it anymore. And then dinner is like 4 or 5 o'clock at the latest. Um, by like seven or eight, like I'm laying on the couch, like <laughs> right now it's, um, four or five o'clock in the morning and I am wide awake and then sleeping is like, I'm forcing myself to get up by like 11 or 1130 and I could, I feel like I could sleep, you know, hours more and, um, dinner is anywhere between like. 8 p.m. to like 11 p.m. You know, if I wait till Shelby gets home, it's usually around 11, which is the majority of the week. Breakfast and lunch is like 12-ish, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. <laughs> so, oh, this sucks. This, this, I think that's going to be like the, well, no, the money is going to be the worst part. But second worst part is going to be the sleep. Like, mm, last night I stayed up. I even took like a, what do they call those? Like, it's. Like, not like the sleeping pills or whatever, but like the natural stuff or whatever. I don't remember. I took one of those, and it was about 1 o'clock, 1.30 when it hit. So I went to bed around 2, which is 3 to 4 hours before normal. Um, and I woke up, 
I woke up around eight or nine, but I fell back asleep till 10 and I'm like, oh, I gotta force myself to get up. So got up at 10 today, super tired. Like I sat on the couch for a minute and like almost fell asleep and like within like five or six minutes of sitting down. Um, but yeah, this is gonna suck.